Good morning, I am Husky Light. Um, thank you for got everything at the moment. I'm quite overwhelmed. Um, new subscribers, um, subscribers that have always been with me. Thank you, thank you so much. And your likes and your shares and your Google Google Pluses. Um, I'm quite amazed at the moment because I think it was only last Thursday that I announced who I was giving a free reading to. And so it's exactly a week. Um, and I've got about, I know I'm only about 80 off announcing another free reading because I do it every 250 subscribers. Um, so I know I've had sort of at least over 150 new subscribers in the past week. So yay, <laughs> thank you. I love you, that's brilliant. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Now our angel cards um, for today, it is Thursday the 16th of July, 2015. I've got my glasses so I can read this morning. <coughs> and we're starting off with Honour Your Beauty, which is Archangel Jophiel. And she's beautiful. And you're beautiful. And this is why she's here. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and my outer beauty. Your angels are encouraging you to know that you are more beautiful than you realise. You are perfect in the eyes of God and his angels. And it's time you looked at yourself in this way too. Beauty goes beyond vanity and outward appearances, but taking steps to, towards making yourself feel and look good will help. You've got a beautiful heart and the angels are blessed to guide you. So that's a beautiful message. You are beautiful inside and out. And you have to see that. I know we all get those days where we just feel a bit off or we can't be bothered. <laughs> but today, make, make a little bit of extra effort. You might bump into somebody today and it might be really important that our angels are telling us to look good today to make sure that we're looking good but we're doing it for ourselves as a first and as and as a prime put some makeup on put a nice dress on do something that makes you feel or remind yourself how beautiful you are because you already know that we're beautiful i think just sometimes we forget a little bit we got get caught up in daily life and we sort of get used to that. Can you hear that? Bandit's having a drink of water. That sounds disgusting. Bandit. <laughs> Gross. Um, <laughs> anyway, they want you to look beautiful. They, they want you to know that you are beautiful. They want you to go and look in that mirror, stare yourself in the eyes, look yourself in the eyes and say, I am beautiful. I am wonderful, I am amazing, and believe it because you are. And then I say, do something that makes you feel more beautiful, that reminds yourself that you're beautiful. This is not just, this isn't a vanity thing, this is about making you feel good in whatever way it takes for you to feel good. So just get out there, get that confidence up, and your confidence will automatically rise if you're looking good and you know that you look good. The angels are here to boost your confidence because they can see how harsh you can be with yourself. Your beauty goes beyond looks, but you must see that you are beautiful inside and out because it is the truth. Take some time today to look at what you love about yourself in a sense of your looks and what you love about who you are within these thoughts and acknowledgements will align your soul with God so yeah look in the mirror I used to I you know what I used to look in the mirror and think oh my god I've got such a big nose it's huge absolutely and I hated it but as I sort of developed and spiritually grown and come to know myself on a deep level there comes a point where you look in the mirror and go you know what my face is never going to change unless I get a nose job my nose is going to change why can't I just love me the way I am for 
for who I am. You were born. You were born with that face. You were born with that body. You were blessed with that. So be thankful and love it. And look, look at your big nose or look at your... I don't know, whatever part of your body it is that you don't like and look at it and go, no, it's a part of me, I do, I do love it. And bring your confidence up, that will help. If you do that on a, do it on a daily basis, whenever you go to a mirror, just, just look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful, I am wonderful, I am amazing. And that will start to show outwardly as well the confidence that you've got within yourself and that is such so so attractive so attractive and draws other people to you because you've got this wonderful confidence going on so do what you can today do what you feel like doing but do it for you you're not doing it for anyone else you're doing it for you find your center is the next card and again i've, got, I've gone off all three packs um the energy is still really high. It's a nervous energy that's going on at the moment, I think, for everybody. <coughs> Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what is going on inside you. And there goes Jeannie. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, this is an ideal moment to stop. Stop and ask yourself, when was the last time I checked in with myself? When was the last time you actually said, am I doing all right? What's going on with me? What's going on inside me? How do I feel? Why do I feel this way? What can I do to make the way I feel different? Chaos about you and outside you is a reflection of what's going on outside. I think I've spoken before about it's no good saying to yourself I need to find happiness, I need to find peace and then everything will be alright. That already has to be inside you for that to reflect into the outside world so the outside world is not as chaotic to you. So again, if you couple that up with the, the beauty card, it's about finding yourself and knowing that you are beautiful, you already have peace and happiness inside, you just need to tap into it, and that is gonna calm the chaos around you. This card is aimed right at you, and it's a really vital time for many reasons. It is with the, this new moon, the energy is crazy, and I knew it was coming, but I didn't realize how strong it would be. And I don't think a lot of us realised actually until it's sort of upon us as now. It's telling you that you need to slow down and find the centre of your being right now. We understand on a physical level that it's easy to get caught up in the materialistic world, but we urge you to step back from your outside world so that you can reconnect with your spiritual self long enough to pause, reflect and heal. Now we had a card yesterday about reconnecting. We had reconnect card yesterday. So there's still messages coming through. They still, they want us to reconnect. They want us to make sure that we are connected and we're staying connected during the phase that we're going through. Because I think this phase that we're going through now with the new moon through to the full moon, there is a lot of emotions around. There's a lot of water in the signs that the new moon is in. And we're ascending, we're ascending again. Our vibrations are going higher. Some of us are finding this nervous energy is quite hard um, to cope with at times because you, you're fidgety, you don't know what to do with yourself, you're running around. It's your body trying to get used to these new higher vibrations. So let's just try and go with it as much as we can. I know that I've got a cold this morning but I know it's 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 a symptom of ascension. It's just like a 24 hour flu thing. And I don't really have a cold. I just have the symptoms of a cold, but it's, it's part of the ascension symptoms as we're moving up to higher vibrations. 
So I'm actually quite thankful that I've got it because it's, it shows me that I'm rising. We're going up to new levels. So if any of you are feeling this, this is why we've got to get centered and find our, find our center, become grounded, know that we're beautiful, stay looking beautiful and keep that confidence going because there is, we, we can't let any self doubt at all come into our lives, especially this, this week. I've spoken all week and before about staying positive because we are manifesting our reality very, very quickly around us. So this is, this is why we need to stay positive and check in with yourself and stay connected. When life gets chaotic and you need to pull back from the stresses and strains of daily life, we need to use this card to help slow the pace down so that you can go within and reconnect with your spiritual self. Close your eyes, put your hands over your heart, breathe deeply and say to yourself, find your center. By doing this, you will connect with your soul where you'll discover that you're able to let go and gently, gently relax into the present, releasing all those anxieties. When your world inside is peace, it will be reflected and enjoyed in the outside world with a balanced body, mind and soul. Balance, all about balance this week. So if you need to, if, you, if you've got these nervous energy feelings um please go and listen to the meditation that's going to help you to manifest it's going to bring you more into alignment with yourself it's going to calm you it's going to bring it's going to help you focus on the things that you want to manifest it's going to bring your inner peace back and your happiness back because the meditation is helping you to think of good things so just try it it's only what 15 minutes long 15 minutes out of the day um, or even without the meditation just to sit and close your eyes breathe deeply calm yourself and think of yourself for a little bit put everyone else to one side just say no you can wait you can wait this is my time this is my 15 minutes I'm going to sit I'm going to relax I'm going to get centered I'm going to bring that confidence out I'm going to give rise to the feelings of, of happiness and abundance. And this is my time. So our last card. Oh, I want to sniff so badly. I'm not going to. But you know when I have the urge, <laughs> either that or blow your nose. Right, our last card is forgiveness. Let go of anger and resentment and feel yourself healed. You don't need to forgive the action, just the person, so that you can be at peace. We, we've got to find this inner peace today. We've got to find the calm within us. Any arguments, any rubbish that you've been through, yesterday, this morning, this week, we've got to let it go. I've spoken so many times, I think, in the past about when there is anger there, when there's resentment there for somebody else, it's like drinking poison yourself and expecting them to get ill. They can't feel it. They don't give a damn. They're going on about their daily business. It's you that's hurting. It's you that needs to heal. So you're not forgiving them for what they've done. What you're doing is just... forgive the person yeah you're not forgiving the action just the person and then you can find peace that's all that's important is you finding the peace within by drawing this card your angels guide you to release anger and irritation they realize that you may be perfectly justified in feeling angry yet they ask you to look at the high price that you pay for being a vessel of anger Forgiveness doesn't mean what you did is okay to me. It simply means I am no longer willing to carry around this pain in response to your actions. 
When we hold unforgiveness in our hearts, we only punish ourselves. After all, your angels will help you to release unforgiveness if you just ask for their assistance. When we've got unforgiveness in our hearts, our hearts are not open. And we need to keep our hearts open this week. We need to forgive and we need to heal. We need to heal the pain that's there all week, the cards all week. We've got to be open, receptive, feeling calm, having our hearts open and being in that positive frame of mind. And I think I mentioned in the card yesterday, if there is somebody around you that's getting on your, <laughs> getting on your nerves, um, I know a song about that. Anyway, when somebody is around you and there is anger there, there's resentment there, get get away from them. Move away from them temporarily if you have to. I did say this yesterday and it seems so important that I'm saying it again. Get that peace within yourself. You are manifesting your reality at the moment. You're manifesting what's going on around you. So we've got to get that peace within ourselves and that happiness, for that happiness and abundance to appear in our outside lives. And if there's somebody there around you that's interfering with what you are trying to manifest and what you're trying to do and how you're feeling, move away from them. The, the, the sheer fact that we've got two full moons in one month is big, is big. So get out there today and look gorgeous because you are gorgeous and you know you are, all of you, even the men. I don't suggest the men go and put a dress on, not in public, <laughs> but I suggest you all make that extra effort today. You don't know who you're going to bump into today, but more, the more important thing is it's going to make you feel better. It's going to make you feel more outstanding. So whatever it takes to make you feel like that, to help you feel like that, is worth it. Okay? Namaste. Blessings and light. If you would like a private reading from me, just click on the link. Um, I will be back on later today with the last of my chakra symptoms um, awakening series. And it's the crown chakra. Uh, I can't say anything. Crown chakra. So I'll be back on with that later on today and that will finish that off um, and I've got a few ideas that I want to start <laughs> for a new one. I think I'm going to go through the seven cosmic laws and uh, general ascension symptoms as well as an overall when we're rising. They say I've got a cold but I know it's just part of what's going on at the moment. So. I love you and, and thank you so much for the subscriptions. I will be announcing probably in the next few days another free reading um, as a thank you to all of you because you're all so amazing. Never forget that. Okay, namaste. Love you. Speak to you in a bit.